Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Sunday and my kids are at home with my parents and I decided to come drive up to a very scenic spot and give you guys a really good view of St. George and what it looks like. Um, growing up here, I've always, St. George has always been like a small town type of place. Um, but currently and over the past, I'd say like 10 years, it's been growing like crazy. It is booming right now. Okay, so let me give you guys the view. There used to be an airport up here. So we, we still refer to this road as like the old airport road, although there's no more airport here. Yeah, this is one of the best views that I could think of to show you guys. We come up here to watch like the fireworks on 4th of July sometimes. That's the view that I drove all the way up here to show you guys. <laughs> Definitely doesn't do it justice on video, I'm sure, but um, I love, I just love St. George and I love all the red rock. Okay, and then there was a couple other places I decided I would just drive around and show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys where I went to high school. I'll show you guys the first house that I grew up in here in St. George. Um, my parents moved to the house that they currently live in when I was about 12 or 13. But I wanted to show you guys our first house here in St. George. And it happens to be very, very close, like right across the street from uh, from where I went to, from where I went to high school. So let's go see. <laughs> So I showed you guys my high school in passing. Um, it's called Dixie High School. And I can see our old house right now. I don't wanna be weird and like get out and record it because I don't even know who lives there now. Um, but it's such a cute little house. It looks so much smaller than I even remember it being. But this is so fun being back in my old neighborhood. There's like two cul-de-sacs that were connected and it was just kind of tucked away. Um, and we would have so much fun playing like night games with all the neighbor kids. There were quite a few like kids our age and families, lots of families. So it was such a fun neighborhood to grow up in. But okay, I'm gonna drive past the house and show you guys what it looked like. Okay, it's this brick one coming up with that white mailbox. Oh, there it is. So cute. <laughs> okay, let's go to our next stop. I also wanted to show you guys like a staple of not just St. George, but of Utah. If you think of Utah, you think of the Mormon, the Mormon church, otherwise known as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so I gotta show you the temple. And there's actually two temples here now. They've recently finished the second one, which it looks really pretty. 
but the temples, if you know anything about the Mormon church, you know that their temples are pretty spectacular looking. They're like castles. And uh, so yeah, I gotta show you guys. And this particular temple has been here since the 1800s. Um, they have recently renovated it and just reopened it. So I'm not sure if how close I can get. I don't know if it's, they've been opening it up to the public for tours, but I don't know if I can get close to it with my car right now. Let's see. There it is. Let's see if I can keep driving. So normally the grounds are open to the public and you can go and walk around. It doesn't look like I can do that right now, um, but I'm gonna try to get a better view of it for you guys from the front, from outside the gates. But going inside the temple is another story. You can't typically go in the temple unless you are a temple recommend holding member of the church. So not everyone can go inside the temple. Up there it says, The House of the Lord, erected by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 1871. So, I'm an expert on Mormonism because I used to be a Mormon. I was born and raised in the religion. <laughs> so, I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to this church. I am no longer a member, um, however, a large majority of my relatives still are. And to Mormons, the temple is like their most sacred place. It's where uh, marriages happen. Um, it's where they perform a lot of different sacred ordinances like baptisms for the dead, family ceilings. And it's like the pinnacle of the religion is coming to the temple and doing saving ordinances that ensure that you can return to the celestial kingdom after you die to live with God and your family for eternity. And I could get into a deeper dive of Mormonism, but that's not what this video is for. But interestingly enough, I'm pretty sure that they have started building a temple in Nairobi. I know that they were supposed to build one. Um, they announced it years ago. I want to say like five years ago and then it took a while for them to break ground and actually start construction but the last I heard they had started so um, if you're in Kenya or in Nairobi maybe you know where it's at I actually don't even know which part of Nairobi it's in I'm assuming like the Westlands area I'm not sure okay on to our last stop for now I'm going to show you guys the house that George and I and our kids lived in before we moved to Kenya. Several of you guys asked to see the house that we lived in when we lived here, so I will go and show you.
once again, I don't want to be creepy and film the house. And I think, I don't know if there's people outside, but <laughs> there are people living in the house and the garage is open and there's a trailer in front of it. But yeah, that's the one right there where you can see the gate at the front porch and then that white trailer is in front of it. But yep, that's the house that we lived in right there. So yeah, that's the house that we moved into when we moved from Las Vegas. When George and I were first married, we lived in Las Vegas for a couple years and then we moved here. So that is it for the tour for now. Um, now we can get into the rest of the vlog. Um, but I also wanted to let you guys know that um, George and I spoke earlier today and he was able to get our next round of coffee. So we have the raw beans. So that is very exciting. We have the next round ready to go for roasting and packaging and all that. Um, I wish I could show you guys a sneak peek of our new packaging because I'm in love with it. Um, but we're gonna keep it under wraps for now. And we have quadrupled the supply of coffee. We just started, you know, our last round was 50 kgs worth. It was just one 50 kg bag and we have quadrupled that. So that's exciting and we'll keep you guys posted on it. Now let's get into the rest of the vlog. The bites, the bites. Ah. Oh, look at all of them. This way. I think you guys will be on this side. Ooh, those look cool. I don't want this one. No one else That's cool. Come here, sis. Susie, this way. That that that's one. Oh, that is funny. Oh. 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 That one does. Oh. You go, you pedal backwards to push the brakes. Is that a good one? Yeah, but just lock it in the store. So the kids just got new bikes. Um, one thing that we wanted to do while we were here in Utah is make sure that everybody knows how to ride a two-wheeler bike. Um, Lucas was the only one who learned how to ride a two-wheeler the last time we were here. The kids, the other kids were still riding on training wheels. They weren't quite ready to try the two-wheel thing, but we wanted to make that a goal of ours while we were here this time. So yeah, we're gonna head over to um, like an empty church parking lot so that they have plenty of room to safely ride around and learn. Go. I got it! <laughs> you never forget. You never forget. Here goes you sis. You have to balance with the handlebars. 
Don't don't go backwards with your feet. <laughs> you getting it, sis? I am out of breath and sweating. Oh my gosh. Oh, sis is really getting the hang of it. We put the training wheels back on Liam's just for a bit so he can, he's like not pedaling quite fast enough to be able to um, keep the bike up. So he's just having some practice pedaling getting the hang of that again. Here goes sis all by yourself. All right, girlfriend. Turn. Oh, yes. Woo, 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 woo. Makes me so nervous. London, high five. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little push then you're on your own. Watch out for the curbs. Oh my gosh, it makes me so nervous. Good job, London. You got it. You're pedaling Liam Mart. Make sure you're watching out. Watch out. Got it. We decided to make today a library day.
Looks like that. Look at the lights. What is that? <laughs> Stand in front of it, you guys. Turn around. Yeah, look at your mommy. Really? Your insurance does not cover his own vehicle. Look at that. We're at a Halloween nature walk where they have like all these Halloween decorations and fun things to look at. 